Hi guys, it's Donna. How are you doing? I hope everyone is doing great and had a wonderful weekend and is having a beautiful start to a new week. I have some happy mail and I am so excited. Look at this tenderful enchantments, Clara Markova. I have it. Um, a wonderful um, subscriber, Deb Lorenz, sent this to me along with fairy tale princesses, Hannah Lynn. I am just over the moon, especially for this book. It is more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. I, I'm over the moon. I just... Loved on this book so much when it got here. I know my husband had made a comment, and I had mentioned it to you guys, that he just could not understand $28 for a coloring book. Believe it or not, when he held this book and saw how beautifully made it is, he was like, it had to cost so much money to buying that book. And I'm like, exactly, that's why they cost as much as they do, but they are beautiful, beautiful books. And I immediately had to color in this. I found a Christmas winter image and I did this. And guys, this is all in Prismacolor. So this is pencils. I am horrible with pencil work. Um, but yeah, this was done in pencils, so I know several of you are like, I can't wait to see you use pencils. Well, here you go. This is what it looks like. It's not the greatest in the world. I hope I improve more over time. We shall see, but this book is just lovely, absolutely lovely. I, I feel so blessed, and I am just over the moon. Thank you so much, Deb, and the Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings is absolutely adorable. I had totally forgotten that this was in my wish list. I had been through my wish list several times and looked at the different books. I was planning which books I would purchase with any um, gift cards that I may get for Christmas. Um, I'm not expecting to get much, but I knew I would be able to get a few, you know, a few books. And I was kind of, um, you know, trying to figure out which ones I might purchase. And I did not even notice that um, this book was missing. It's just something that it never... <sighs> this is awesome. I am just over the moon. Thank you so much, Deb. I cannot express how happy I was and how loved I felt when I received this. And um, I know I had told you guys that I had gotten my husband um, the two pairs of Crocs for $35 for Christmas. I wanted to go ahead and tip him off about that because I knew if he saw the deal, he would jump on it also. So I told him and he was like, well, okay, so what do you want for Christmas? And I said, oh, don't worry, it'll be here this afternoon. So he looks at me like, really? And this was the day after these two books had came in the mail. So he said, so what is it? And I said, fairy miracles. <laughs> so I am so excited. I had logged on to Amazon one day and the book just happened to be in stock. It sold out so quickly. And I felt so lucky to be able to snack snatched that book up really fast. I could not help myself and I told him Merry Christmas to me from you. Thank you very much. I gave him all kinds of hugs and kisses. So I mean hopefully hopefully he's not too angry about that. And I told him that there is one more Clara Makova book and Valentine's Day is only a month or so away. So we will see. And I colored this picture yesterday again with Prismacolor. Um, in the Fairy Miracles book. I'm not very pleased with the way the apple turns out. I'm okay with most of the other. Um, oh my goodness, I forgot to put the little dots <laughs> inside the ribbon here. I just noticed that. So, uh, you know, I, 
I always seem to forget something. So this was done and I'm very excited. I am thrilled to have these these books and I will work in them a lot in the coming year. So I just thought I would color a little bit tonight from Winter Woodland Wonderland, Deborah Muller. And um, I have found that I'm putting cardstock behind my pictures now instead of just the plastic piece that I had been putting back there. And I've noticed that it is helping a little bit about the spreading of the markers when they bleed and they spread out. It is helping a little with that. I'm going to color with my Touch New markers tonight. I don't know how that's going to go because they seem to be the ones I have the most trouble with doing that bleeding and spreading. Excuse me. So, we're going to do that. And how many of you have seen that Miss Niecy over at Dollar our Dollar Diva 99 has placed a challenge for all the color tubers and anyone else that wants to participate in that. She has a what she is calling the Tiny 10 challenge. And the idea behind that is to take a set of only 12. Um, she's using pencils. She said pencils, markers, anything like that. Only a set of 12, the basic colors. Um, she used her polychromos as an example. So I would assume she wants those to be not just hand-picked colors, but the 12 colors that are in the... Um, polychromos set and to do a picture with just those 12. For me that's going to be so hard because I'm horrible with marker or with pencil. I did purchase, I used my a 55% off AC Moore coupon at Michael's today and purchased the 12 set of polychromos. I got those for about $16.00. Um, I may have overpaid, I'm not sure, but I picked those up for the challenge, so I am going to work on that, and I would encourage all of you to go over to Dollar Diva 99's channel and check out the Tiny 10 Challenge and participate in that, whether you have a color tube channel or not. I think... Um, it's lots, it'll be lots of fun, and when we do these tags, um, I think that it fosters a sense of community also, and it just kind of brings us all together. Um, while I was out today, I also, I splurged, I shouldn't have, I know better than to go into Michael's, I do. But I also bought the 12 set of the Coronor Woodless Pencils, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I really like those. Now, I've only swatched them out at this point, but I felt that they were every bit as vibrant and laid down every bit of as much pigment as the Polychromos did when I swatched them out. Now, granted, those are just swatches, so um, I'm not sure yet how any type of blending or layering or any of that um, would go. But that was just my first impression. And I splurged even more. They were 50% off also and purchased the 24 counts of the Jane Davenport uh, Magic Wand pencils. And I got to say, I'm, I'm not impressed. I'm just, just not. I swatched those out, and again, I have only swatched. So, I firmly believe that you really have to color to get to know something and decide, because I have swatched things out and thought they were amazing, 
And then as I used the product, I did not like it. Um, that's kind of the relationship I have with these touch more are the touch fives and um, so far the touch news also they you know swatching it out and they say it's 168 colors of course you can go ahead and subtract your blender and you can go ahead and subtract those fluorescents that aren't worth anything out of that um, but I'm just, I just wasn't impressed with them once I actually sat down and began to color. But we all color differently. So, you know, the way I color may not be the way you color. So when someone says, you know, their, their thoughts on something, it's more of an opinion based off of how they color and what they color on. Um, I know I've seen several different people say that um, certain pencils do not do well on create space paper and other pencils do so that's you know a good example because I do color a lot in my actual coloring books and a lot of those are create space type paper and um, therefore that's my experience with that kind of paper and you know the touch news may do great on marker paper or multi um, media paper I'm you know I, I don't know I haven't really tried that but I say all this to say back to the Jane Davenport's I have swatched out a lot of different mediums even pencils because when I first started um, getting serious about adult coloring and wanting to do images that were double-sided I knew that I was going to have to um, focus more on um, pencils and things like that so I had purchased um, several different sets of pencils and swatched them all out and um, Sorry, I, I just need to think for one minute. I need to kind of put a, um, yeah, just give me a second. Um, um, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to use the yellow green and see how I like it. Um, as I was saying, in swatching out all these pencils, several different budget-friendly pencils, um, I tried different ones before I finally decided that I was going to go ahead and splurge and get the um, Prismacolor 150 set. So in the process of swatching all these out, like I, I, I did several, several different brands. And today, when I was swatching out those Magic uh, Wands Jane Davenport pencils, guys, they reminded me of swatching out Crazy Arts. Um, they truly did. And I'm not necessarily saying that's a bad thing because I wasn't on the bandwagon with everyone who says that Crazy Art pencils, well for lack of a better term, suck. I thought that they were not as pigmented. I did think that they had a lot of pretty light, bright colors, but I was new to pencils and still really am, and therefore I did not know how to even attempt to try to blend or shade or you know anything like that. So all I can say is when I swatched my Crazy Arts out, that is, when I swatched the Jane Davenport's today, my mind went back to swatching out the um, Crazy Arts. And, I mean, do you guys have the Magic Wand pencils? If you do, comment below and tell me what your uh, impressions of those were. Because I did not feel like they were very pigmented. I felt that I had to push very hard to get that pigment out and onto the paper. Now, I will say that the colors were pretty. 
but um, when it comes to coloring, I mean, just from Saturday, I colored in Tenderful Enchantments, and Sunday, I colored the picture in Fairy Miracles, and even today, here, inside my hands all through here and in these knuckles and joints they're aching even now and that's something that you know I deal with a lot with my hands and that was that was with Prismacolor and um you know Prismacolor lays down really easy so I don't know that I would be able to complete a picture with those Jane Davenport's and if I did I think it would take me a very long time there's no way that I could do like what I did yesterday and or yes today's Monday um, what I did on Saturday and Sunday there is just no way that I could sit down and um, color like that with those pencils there's just no way uh, not an expect to color again for a while because my hand would be hurting so bad so I was just curious what you guys um, think about those if you happen to have them. I want to try out the uh, ink tints. I don't know how that will go because I tried out um, watercolor pencils and that didn't go very well. So I'm very weary of the ink tints. Um, how user friendly are those for any of you that may use that? Um, I want to try out the Color Softs, and these are just some of the ones that I saw today when I was in Michael's that came in smaller packs that I could get, you know, for maybe 15 bucks, um, and try those out, and $15 is a lot of money, don't get me wrong, I mean, to me, it, it really is. Um, I know to a lot of you it may not be, but, you know, so it, it'll be a while before I splurge like that, but I would definitely like to test these things before I would dare go out and buy a whole set and we all know that Donna suffers from full set syndrome and I'm already worried about the polychromos that I got today because I was fairly impressed with those now granted that was just a swatching but I felt like I was in love when I did that so um, I know they're they're not supposed to be as soft as Prismas I know several people have said that it takes several layers you can't just um, you know, with, with my Prismas, I can kind of put extra pressure down and get a little more, and I'm not talking about like break pencil pressure, but I can, you know, press down just a little more and get the color out that I need and not spend like hours trying to layer because there's no way I would ever color with pencils if I had to sit and layer and layer and layer and layer and layer. No, I, I could not do it. I'm not that patient. It took me about six hours to do the picture in Tenderful Enchantments and probably about the same to do the picture in um, Fairy Miracles. And that was huge, guys. I am not even kidding. I thought that I was just going to die. It seemed to be taking so long. And so I don't think that I could do anything that I could not work with like I work with my Prismas. Um, I have the Hero pencils, which are supposed to be um, oil-based like the Polychromos, and I have noticed that they are harder um, than my Prismas, and they take a little more pressure to get the color out, so I don't know. I have the Black Widow spider set and I really want to get the Scorpion and um, what is the other one? Scorpion and Cobra, I believe. Um, I want to get those. I do like the way the colors are and even those are kind of, they're not as soft as Prismas, <laughs> but I really do like the colors in those. So I would kind of like to have those other two um, I want to try out the Fila's that I've heard several of you talk about being so good. I think I would like to try the Arteza's or Arteza's. 
um, and try those out. And I think that's about as far as I've gotten <laughs> with what pencils I really want to try. Um, let's see. Um, I had a question for you guys. My, I don't know if this is normal for colored pencils. So this is for all of you pencil girls and gals, or gals and guys, girls and boys. Um, this is for you guys. How, how often, I guess, do you sharpen your pencil? Do you always keep it at a very sharp point? Or do you use it as long as you can before you sharpen it? And when you sharpen it, how much of that pencil is getting used up in that pencil sharpener? Because it seems to me that when I am sharpening my pencils, now I will use them until they absolutely need sharpen because I don't want to waste that pigment. But it seems that when I sharpen them, it is taking a good amount away from the pencil. I mean, enough that you can put it up against another pencil and tell that it has definitely been sharpened and sharpened well. And that concerns me because at that rate, if you use that one pencil on more than a few color pages, a couple color pages maybe, it's gone. And that seems like an awful lot of pencil getting used up. And I don't know if it's a pencil sharpener issue or if this is an issue of I should be keeping the point sharp sharp at all times maybe it doesn't use as much of the pencil up if you do that or like I said if it's if it's my actual pencil sharpener um, I have the T-Gal is what I have I keep it on number two which is what I've been told is about the best when it comes to sharpening Prismas, I have tried to put it on a three and I've also tried it on one. It doesn't seem to make much of a hill of beans, to be honest, which way it's still eating the pencil and I don't like that and I don't know what to do about that. So I thought I would ask you guys, if that is normal, what pencil sharpener are you using on especially like your Prismas or for any pencil for that matter? what pencil sharpener is going to do less damage to that pencil and I understand you're gonna use the lead and maybe I use just as much ink when I color with my markers and I don't notice it because it's inside here and I can't um, see it so I don't think about it if that makes sense so I wasn't really sure what this deal is with pencils and what I'm doing wrong but that just seems like an awful lot of pencil and it makes me really not want to color with pencils if that's the case because I do need Prismacolor and um, you know something like Prismacolor at least extremely soft and they're expensive and even buying them open stock when I bought them I thought yeah hey, open stock but no if you're going through them this quickly that open stock's gonna add up a lot too. So I was just kind of curious um, what you guys were doing as far as your pencils and what is best. I have even heard that some people use just um, uh, sandpaper and just use the sandpaper directly onto the um, directly on onto the pigment, the lead whichever you want to call that, just to kind of sharpen it up a little bit. And I was curious, you know, does does that help? Does that make a difference? Um, inquiring minds want to know <laughs> because I want to learn to use my pencils at the same time. I would also like um, them to last as long as possible. So sound off guys <laughs> I am all ears I am looking for my rose pink and I am not seeing it do does this happen to you when you're looking for something specific you just can't seem to get it here we go and it was literally right there 
it if it had been a, if it would have been a poisonous snake, I would be dead. No doubt about it. So <clears throat> excuse me. I am still taking my medication. I've got several days of that left, but I am feeling a lot better again. Um, I'm still very chugged up, but that's okay. Um, I don't like to feel sick. I don't so much mind the stuffy nose. Now, the coughing was starting to get old. I was starting to hurt from coughing. But I don't as much mind the you know stuffy nose and all that kind of stuff. I can cope with that. I don't like being, I don't like feeling sick. And I think there's a lot of this going around. So many people. My husband goes in, Gary is his name. I know I keep referring to him as my husband and that seems so impersonal. His name is Gary. He goes in the morning to get his um, test done and I think... I'm not sure, this may be incorrect, but I think it was called an MRA. Um, you know, everybody's kind of heard of the MRIs, but I'm pretty sure they said MRA, but it was an MR and another letter that wasn't an I. So he goes and gets that in the morning, and this is supposed to allow them to look at those arteries to his kidneys and see what the status on that is. Um, I don't know how they're going to handle this because he has had allergic reactions before to the medical dyes that are used in these tests. And this is a, um, a contrast test where they have to use dye. I'm not sure how they're going to handle that. But first thing in the morning, he's having that done. I'm almost, yeah, it's definitely in the morning. Um... I was trying to think, or is that next Tuesday, but isn't next Tuesday Christmas? I think it is. So, yeah, it's got to be tomorrow. Um, so, you know, keep him in your thoughts and your prayers. This is going to be a big deal if um, we need to find an answer to the blood pressure riddle. And if it is this, then... For goodness sakes, let us find it um, and get that taken care of because his numbers have just been dangerous, the levels on those. So, I'm not looking forward to, and I'm sure he's not looking forward to, the surgery if that's what it takes to fix it. And that's what we're most concerned about right now. Um, how much time will he have to be out of work? Um... Hopefully, we'll have plenty of, um, uh, not workman's comp, um, disability or, or, you know, whatever it's called while he's out of work. Hopefully, there'll be enough of that built up to take care of however long um, he's down because of that. So... Yeah, keep him in your thoughts for that. And we definitely just want to know um, what this is that's causing this. You know, one way or another, good or bad, we need to know. His medication's not um, keeping his blood pressure down anymore at all. It's just not. Speaking of forgetting, did you see I missed that little part of the tree right there? <laughs> I feel silly. So, guess what happened today? My mother-in-law actually went back to work. Yeah, she, um, she's 74. She'll be 75 next month. And she has still been working a full-time job. She has missed a lot of work 
over this past year because of help. And that's why she absolutely, I mean, she's to the point that she needed someone to live with her to make sure everything was okay. But um, she was still trying to trudge along and work full time. And she had had intentions to go part time um, at the first of the year, this January. And then this last surgery, I mean, she's had a couple other surgeries that she's missed work and stuff for, but this last surgery knocked her on her tail. But she actually went back in today, and I was impressed that she managed to work an entire shift. That was um, pretty impressive, in my opinion. I wasn't convinced that she would be able um, to do that, but she did, and, um, she said she's very tired, I imagine she is, but she was getting very restless, it was very obvious, she's always been the type of person that wants to go and do things, and just being in a chair 24-7 because she couldn't was driving her and everybody else crazy but hopefully that will be good for her it'll at least get her back out of the house a little bit and I think that's very important for her right now because she was not doing well cooped up in the house I don't know how long her health will allow her to um, even work part-time but I think it's good for her. Um, after I saw how restless she became and how unhappy she really was, it, um, it's a huge deal. So hopefully that will all go okay. She did make it through the full day. She said they wanted her to go home around lunchtime and she didn't. She works at a truck, um, a trucking company. She does um, office work there. So, I don't know. We will see. So... Wow, Christmas is actually next Tuesday. That's crazy. Is that right? It's got to be because this Saturday is the 22nd because we have family coming over. So if Saturday's the 22nd, Sunday would be the 23rd, Monday the 24th. Oh, wow. Next Tuesday is Christmas. Oh, my goodness. That snuck up so fast. I mean, it's like the season's just poof. Done. That quick. Crazy. Does it feel to you guys like um, oh, you couldn't even see that. I wasn't even in frame. Does it feel to you guys like Christmas should already be here? Or does it feel like it's went super duper fast, really slow? I mean, this year it's went super fast, I think. And I'm just shocked that it has went this quickly. And such a sweet subscriber sent me, or she commented on one of the videos from the other day. It was my color and chat where I had 
said my different favorite things about the holidays and she wanted me to send her a Facebook request. I did look for you, but there is bookies of people <laughs> with your name and I did not know if you saw that I commented um, on that post back to you to let you know that you had said that you weren't sure if I would even read it and I read all of my um, comments that I possibly can unless for whatever reason it happened to slip by me I mean I try to read all those I love hearing from you guys it means so much to me um, when to see positive comments and and things like that but sweetheart I know you want us wanted to send me those um, the ribbon candy and I appreciate that so so much and I wanted to let you know that I did go to my Dollar Tree today and looked and they did have the ribbon candy which was nice but the only thing was they only had the peppermint ones and I really like the um looking at colors again so you'll have to forgive me I don't like peppermint much I like the ones that are either cinnamon or they um Are there the like the rainbow ones that are fruit kind of flavored those are the ones that I really like um, not the peppermints and I don't know which ones your Dollar Tree may have had you are so lucky if they had the fruit ones because when I went in there today I was like crossing my fingers and my toes but now but that's okay um, but it was, I just wanted to let you know how absolutely, that was just so kind of you, and it meant so much to me that you thought of me and wanted to send me your, you know, your pet that you had gotten to enjoy with your family, and, um, oh gosh, that just, that means the world. Some of the comments that I get from you guys, and... Um, those of you that have picked things off of my wish list on Amazon and sent things or, you know, any of that, it just, it melts my heart because I don't have much, you know, of a social life or anything outside of Facebook and YouTube. And, I mean, I do have some friends, but we don't get to hang out a lot. And to have you guys reach out to me like that it just it melts my heart and makes me so happy and when I get the notifications that I have messages um, or comments on the channel I get so excited and um, yeah so you know just know that if you leave me a comment I am reading those comments um, I try to reply to my comments, and if I am in a hurry and don't have time for whatever reason to sit down and reply to comments, I at least you know that I have read the comment, and you know I don't want you to ever feel like you're being ignored. And any time that you want to contact me, you know, like she had wanted to. If you look in the description right below my videos, in every one of those videos, there is my email address. I have that on every video. Um, in the description, I just have a little hello, welcome to anyone who may, you know, look at that that's not subscribed and just says a little bit about me and the channel. And then I have any links to products that um, I may have used or we talked about. Um, I'll have those links in the description and those are the Amazon affiliate links. So if you purchase anything through those links, I will get a very, very small percentage, but that will add up over time and I'm, 
I have it set for Amazon gift cards is how I get rewarded and if and when I do get um, enough money for them to issue a gift card they only issue at ten dollars um, but if if and when I do get that I will put that right back into things that we will use here on the channel um, whether it be for things that you know you guys may have mentioned that you would like to see or things you might be interested in you know different types of products for reviews purchasing things for giveaways I think I may have a way to include international in giveaways what I'm kind of thinking and I know this isn't as much and I'm sorry but if I have a product that I am going to do a giveaway on I have either already purchased that product and um, have duplicates won't be using it myself um, it was gifted to me to give as a giveaway or you know whatever the case may be on that and what I was thinking so you know it's I'm not just you know chances are generally speaking I'm not going to be purchasing things to specifically just give away I will once if I get enough um, if there is enough um, if there's enough money coming into that um, from that then yes I will definitely purchase things for giveaways but what I was kind of thinking is since chances are at least for right now that I have not actually it's not like I spent money specifically and I may I mean I don't I don't know I'm not sure how I'm Try to follow me. This is kind of what I was thinking. And I'm thinking about this specifically because I am more than halfway to the 1,000 subscriber mark. Thank you guys so much. And I realized that I am at, I am just over 500 subscribers. And I promised there would be a huge giveaway and I have not forgotten and I think I am going to do that at the 1,000 subscriber mark. So that's why I have been putting so much thought into our international um, subscribers. And what I was kind of thinking is what approximately whatever it will take me to ship a item for a giveaway or you know because excuse me obviously if I have something that's oh my goodness I'm trying to figure out how to how to say this and maybe some of you are, are getting what I'm saying and maybe some of you are like oh my gosh girl to spit it out already um what I was thinking though is I could figure out um, basically, if it's going to cost me, say, for example, if it is going to cost me maybe $10 to ship something that is a giveaway, and that's to people in the U.S., if it's going to cost me $10 to ship that item, what I was thinking is I can go onto Amazon and purchase a ten dollar USD and I don't know what that's going to amount to once they figure that into whatever country's funds I don't know how that works but I was thinking I could do that and email the international people and Amazon gift card as as their win and that would it would make it so our international friends subscribers can participate in giveaways and I definitely want international to be able to participate in my 1,000 subscriber giveaway and I think it's a nice giveaway guys and it's gonna cost me a good bit to ship it um, more than ten dollars I'm sure if that gives you guys any idea and I thought long and hard about it and I'm like will I ever use this and I have used them in the past. I don't want to say what it is. I don't want to give it away. 
I have used them in the past and I tried to love them. I really tried to love them. And I just didn't. And I have a brand new set. And I think that's what I'm going to give away when we hit the um, 1,000 subscriber mark. And if Anne is watching this, she probably knows what I'm giving away because <laughs> I spoke to her before I even started a channel and was asking her if she knew of anyone who might be interested in trading something for these. And um, she never found anyone, unfortunately. But fortunately for you guys. And then once the channel got started and I just kind of thought, hey, you know, when I hit a certain milestone, I think I'm going to give these away. And um, we're halfway to a awesome milestone for that. 1,000 subscribers. That is amazing. And the channel has only been up and running for a little over a month. And I really haven't been able to put out the videos like I truly wanted to. So, with all of that, um, I, I'm floored that we're at over 500 subscribers. And I say we because I tell you guys all the time that this is a this is a us thing. Um, I want you guys to like color with me, you know. So halfway there, guys. I'm excited, and I don't know. Yeah, I think that'll be a lot of fun. And if there's anything you guys want um, to see or any ideas you guys have, you know, definitely, definitely, definitely let me know that. Um, I think it'd be lots of fun. Oh, it has been a long day. So what are you guys working on coloring? Tell me below. Don't be shy. I know if there's 500 subscribers and if I can look and see that a video has had 300 views, don't lurk, guys. Come out of the woodwork and say hello. Let's get to know each other, and we can have so much fun. So let me know what you're coloring. Let me know what you think about Nisi's. Um, uh, what was she calling it? The Tiny Ten Challenge. Would you participate in that? And it does not have to be polychromos. I mean, she said anything. And you don't even have to go out and buy anything either. She said that even if you have, say, if you have just the 100 um, Crayola set, you know, get the 12, or, you know, you, the colors that are in the 12. And, um use those and you can go to and if I remember I'll do this for you guys in just a second actually I started to say to go to Faber-Castell's website if you wanted to follow specifically like Nisi and know what colors if you're having to pull colors from a set um, so you would know what colors are in the polychromos because even I did not know until today and had I not already been interested in trying the polychromos there's no way I would have bought you know even the 12 pack so don't feel 
obligated to go out and buy, you know, anything um, like that just to participate. It's not necessary. We, um, I say we, and I, I, I know I can't speak for Nisi, but I know that Nisi feels the same way. We would never do a challenge and say that you had to um, use a certain item and you don't have that item and so you're left not able to participate. Um, if you're coloring, you have 12 of something, I'm sure. It may be 12 crazy art crayons. Um, it may be 12 dollar store crayons or 12 Dollar Tree pencils. I mean, you've got 12 of something. You really can't hardly color with less than 12. I'm sure. So, you've got them. Let's use them. And I think that it'll be lots of fun. Nisi wants everybody to like email her their pictures and stuff. And this is going to be crazy for me because I am not good with pencils as you guys saw earlier and I am so nervous about trying to do something like that but I will show you guys on here I thought about trying to color something on camera but please forgive me I'm not going to do that I am just not comfortable enough with pencils yet what I may do for you guys, just so it's something like that, I might go through and pick out 12 of my markers and do a 12 marker challenge. And, I mean, I might even be able to throw all 12 in there and use them. Um, that just bled over. I think I'm going to have to use some um, stickles on that. So it can be something other than red. I don't know, maybe silver. But, uh, you know, that'd be fun. So, do you think you would participate in Nisi's Tiny 10 Challenge? I'm going to try. And I will put a link to Nisi's. Uh, video in the description also. Oh, and I was talking about my descriptions earlier and I just kind of but yeah, my email address is always in the description. And um, you guys can get in contact with me there anytime that you need to get in contact with me about anything at all. Um, those links are always the link to my email addresses there. Um, any product links are there. Um, I am going to get the actual Amazon affiliate link that's just to the Amazon site and put that there. And um, there is a link to my wish list there. Um, I think that's everything that's in those. And like any other uh, videos that I may reference, I'm going to make sure I start putting those in there as well. Because I think it's important that um, we help each other out and, you know, send traffic. Because without Ann, I mean, I definitely wouldn't be here today. I mean, I know most of you guys followed Ann over and I appreciate it so much. She has... Such a great, great, great um, subscribers. So kind, and I'm thrilled to have some of you here with me. And congratulations, Anne, for hitting 9,000 subscribers. That is crazy cool. I am so happy for you. That was so awesome. When I saw you put the video up, I was like, yay, go, go, go. And I think it's important that we, you know, do help each other out by sharing links and and things like that so other people can find different channels and we can all enjoy 
each other. I know I love finding new channels. When I first got on Color Two, when I would find a new channel, it was just the coolest thing ever. And I watched several, several now. And if I have someone who comments on one of my videos and it sounds like they may have a coloring channel, I am clicking on it and going to look and seeing, you know, what you got there. I have no idea why I colored this strip right here red. And then I looked and realized, ho oh, ho, her poop was already red. Oh well. Everything can't be perfect. Nothing in Donna's world is ever perfect, that's for sure. And that's okay. I did remember to go back and color that little part of that tree, though. I've got to remember to get back into Tenderful Enchantments and put those little dots in there, because if I don't, it is going to drive me crazy every time I look at that picture. And I think I'm going to use markers in those books. I know, gasp, right? But the books do have a small image on the back of the pages. But it's not like a whole book, you know. Um, I don't know if that even makes sense. It's, it's not a, a whole picture, in other words. So, I just think that I may use my markers. I love my markers, as you guys know. And I am terrified to put a marker on that. Has anyone ever colored in... Have any of you guys ever colored in any of... Um, any of the Clara Markova books with markers? And if so, what happens? Inquiring minds want to know... How did the, uh, how the paper take the marker? It's the best paper I've ever felt in my life. I mean, it just, oh my God. It's, it felt like silk almost. I sat and petted the paper for a while. It was amazing. And it is so smooth. So smooth. I'm not sure how anyone who uses pencils and they rely on uh, really rely on the the tooth. I don't know how you color in that book. And if that if those books have tooth, and then I don't know what tooth is. And somebody please correct me and explain that to me because I don't feel any tooth. Um, but they are oh god, I I just can't begin to tell you. It's it's amazing. It's the best paper I've ever ever felt. And it makes me think that it would take marker very well. But I could be wrong because I don't think Johanna Bassford takes marker well at all. Um, I have colored in Johanna Bassford before with markers. That's why I do like to have two books sometimes of those. One for like gel pens or whatever and one for um, marker if I want to use that. But I don't think Johanna Bassford books takes the marker very well at all. I don't like the way the marker feels as it's going on the paper, but this, to me, the Clara Markova paper, you know, some people may gasp and want to shoot me for this, but I think it feels better to me than jo Johanna Basper paper. Um, I mean, I don't know. What's, what's your opinion on that paper? And, you know, maybe there's something I'm missing. And something I noticed, too, is I have every Johanna Basper book. Every one maybe five pictures out of every one of those books are colored and that's it and I sat down and I colored in those Claire Markover books immediately um I think that I like to look at Johanna's work I think it's beautiful and but I don't know if it's intimidation or what it is but I'm more of a Johanna Basford collector than a colorer and when I do color Johanna Basford I'm not Maybe one picture that I've ever colored out of Johanna Basford, I liked. 
what I did. Um, all the others, I just wasn't happy with them. And that's why I kind of... Um, kind of just stopped coloring in them. Because I wasn't at all happy with the work that I was uh, getting out of them. So I'm just kind of curious what to expect if I go to put a marker down in that Clara Markova book. And I thought maybe, maybe some of you guys had possibly um, used marker in one of her books. And I thought maybe, you know, you could let me know how that went for you. I want to, hopefully you guys can see my coloring better, but it's hard for me to remember that I've got to move the book around so you guys can uh, see what's going on. But I really appreciated Kenneth letting me know that apparently you guys could not see my coloring when I was allowing like the whole page to show at once that you guys weren't really able to see that and I'm glad that he spoke up and said something you guys were just gonna let me go on like that forever sorry Alrighty. And there we have it. I am calling her done. I may go in with some pencils and put some, um, and I think what I'm going to do with these is make these back white again and just leave them alone. Um, probably go in with some pencil and do just a little bit of shading. I may or may not put a little bit of a background. And if I do, it'll just be pencil with um, odorless mineral spirits to blend that out. Probably that's the way I like to use my um, pencils. Um, when I just put pencils down and don't blend that with the odorless mineral spirits, it doesn't look good to me at all in my you know, my work, I see you got your work all the time, and you guys are so amazing, it's just crazy how good you guys are, <laughs> and I, I'm just out there flapping, but I'm trying, and I'm determined I'm going to beat those um, markers at their own, or pencils at their own game, oh, and I was going to show you guys the 12 colors in the polychromos before we left, let me grab those. Okay, this is the 12 count of the polychromos, and they come in a beautiful tin. Absolutely beautiful. And it's like I'm always afraid when I go to open it that I'm going to sling them everywhere. Okay, these are the polychromos, and these are the 10 colors. You have the um, white, then you have cadmium yellow. Dark Cadmium Orange, Deep Scarlet Red, Magenta, Light Ultramarine, is this correct? I'm sure this is not. Phaleo Blue, how do you guys say that? Phaleo Blue, somebody sound that out for me in the comments, please. I was nice enough to help Anne today with her, was it Maze? <laughs> I told her, I said, you're saying it correct, Anne, just like mayonnaise, maize. 
So somebody help me out with that phthalo P H P H T H A P H T H A L O phthalo. I don't know. Somebody help me out with that. But anyway, you've got that. And like I said, you've got your emerald green. Then you have your light green. You have burnt ore or burnt ochre. Somebody tell me how to pronounce that one too. <laughs> Walnut brown and your black. So that's what you have in the Faber Castell Polychromos. And this is a poor, poor purple, if that's what it's supposed to be. I don't like that at all. But these are some pretty colors, and I like those. I swatched them out in the Jade Summer book that I was gifted. These are the 12 polychromos from here to there. These were the 12 Coronor Woodless. I'm, I was impressed with those. I liked them. And this, not this, this, those two, those are the um, Magic Wand Mermaid Pencils. And these were my Black Widow Spider. Those are the ones I just kind of put in here today. I'm going to be working in this. I love this. This was this was awesome for like small sets. And I received my gel pens that I ordered on sale recently that I need to get those out and do a review and swatch. I've not even opened them yet. So I've got two brands of gel pens unopened to, to look at. And I think I'll do those on camera also. And yeah, so that's about it for this video. If you... Um, are new here, welcome, and if you're not subscribed, if you enjoy this color and chats and things like this, by all means, please hit the subscribe button. Please give me a thumbs up. That really helps YouTube decide what videos they are going to show on recommended video lists. It will bring me more subscribers, hopefully, so please, please, please hit that like button. Let's get some more subscribers. Let's get to that 1,000 mark. Let's do that big giveaway. I think we're going to even have like, I don't know, maybe we should have cake and ice cream and cookies and candies and all kinds of stuff for that video. And we'll just have us one big old happy old party over here at Donna's house. What you say? So, that's it for tonight. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I will try to make another video on... Wednesday. That will be the next day that my husband is on shift unless I have time to pop on um, tomorrow. Um, excuse me, excuse me. He will be off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I will be back with a video on Thursday unless I get a chance to pop in on Tuesday or Wednesday. If I get that opportunity, I will be on here with you guys and we'll color something else together. So come on guys, say it with me. Until next time, peace, love, and happy coloring. Bye, guys. See you soon.